hey yo, your friendly neighborhood quarter guy here. And I've got a big announcement to make. Things have been being rather tumultuous in my life lately, and uh, I'm about to enter a new phase in my life. So, I think it's time for me to move to Milwaukee. That's right, I'm a, I've been offered a, a new job in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, as a result, I will be moving over the next week. My channel's not going anywhere. Well, at least I hope it won't. But if things slow down this month, at least now you have an explanation. Now to really w what I really want to talk about this week. This Nintendo Direct. It, well, to be honest, there were quite a few things that interested me, some things that were just meh. Uh, let's start from the top. Updates to start updates regarding Star Fox Zero. There are no further delays, which is good. There's going to be co-op, which is going to be interesting the way they have it set up. And Star Fox Guard is and and Project Guard is now being rebranded as Star Fox Guard and is apparently a companion game, which looks pretty interesting. That's definitely going to be fun. Um, there's going to be updates to Splatoon, which is definitely a good thing considering. The, it's not going to be any major updates, just improvements to matchmaking and some rebalancing with weapons. Okay, Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympics. Eh. New updates to Mario Maker, including... Uh, skewers, keys, pink coins, and... Uh, Super Expert mode in Hunter Mario Challenge, a.k.a. get ready for Kaizo levels up the ass. Yeah, not pretty. I dread to see what kinds of levels are going to end up in that one. I'm doomed. And anyways, SMT Cross Fire Emblem now has an official name for the U.S. release. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Hashtag FE. And it's a pretty clever name if you actually think about it. Let me spell it out for you. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Abbreviated TMS. Reverse that, you get SMT. Woo! But anyway, the game looks as anime as ever. They might as well have just called it Persona Cross Fire Emblem. Like I've brought up before, and I'm sure many people have brought up before. But still, it looks interesting, so, I'm pro so I'm, I'm, I might pick it up. And, apparently, and next, Namco's new uh, free-to-play game for Wii U, which is called Lost Reavers. Gameplay looks kind of interesting, but the concern I have, judging from the trailer they have, is the frame rate and how they're going to handle their free-to-play elements. Microtransactions, in and of themselves, aren't bad, but it's just how they can be handled, and how I've seen them handled in some cases that bugs me. <sighs> and another thing that bugs me, the new Paper Mario game. It's already looking like a new sticker star. And considering... And if you've seen my countdowns, well, you know how I feel about sticker star. Uh, so I'm not exactly excited about this. It's like... It's like Paper Mario doesn't even know what it is anymore. Well, at least... At least, I'll, at least we can, I can get hype about Pokémon Tournament. Not quite as much about Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. My Nintendo's looking very interesting. And here's another thing I'm meh about. Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge. Free to download, but all the content is locked behind Amiibos. Uh, ooh, ew. and it looks like Nintendo might be giving pe people a reason to buy the new 3DS, albeit not an extremely compelling one. Super NES games on, three, on new 3DS Virtual Console. And only new 3DS. We've, already, we've seen some promising titles in that lineup so far, and it's looking pretty promising. Alright, now we're up to the big WTF of the Direct. Pocket Card Jockey. Yeah, it looks like Game Freak reached into their random raffle bag and pulled out Horse Racing Solitaire Breeder Simulator. What? I don't know. It just... It just looks... This looks weird. Eh. One thing that doesn't look weird and looks absolutely awesome is Azure Striker Gunvolt 2. 
Yeah, that is gonna be... That looks already awesome. Including the fact that Gunvolt's rival Copen is gonna be playable in the game as well. And he's basically gonna be like the X of the game. He'll dash in at enemies to mark them and fire a homing shot. And he'll be able to copy his opponent's abilities. Which looks pretty fun. Next thing I'm meh about is Disney Art Academy. I was never interested in the uh, Art Academy series, so this it, so that passed by my attention. Bravely Second End Layer. I still have to finish the first Bravely Default, and to be honest, I'm kind of getting pushed away from it, from what I have learned about it. Yeah. Dragon Quest Seven looks interesting. Monster Hunter Cross confirmed for the West in the form of Monster Hunter Generations. Yes, of course, you know, I'm hyped for that. I love Monster Hunter, ever since Monster Hunter Try. And I, uh, yeah, I need to get through, uh, I need to get to the uh, last monster in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate before cro before Generations comes out. Also, Generations is going to have a uh, DLC featuring Mirth from Defire Embol. <laughs> and now we get to the other, now we get to the last thing that's meh for me today. Metroid Prime Federation Force. Yeah, we got we got a little more info on it, but I'm still going to take a wait and see attitude on that game. Next, we got localization for Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. Considering I'm a fan of rhythm games, I'll get to that later. Yeah, I'm hyped for that. And finally, Nintendo usually seems to have a big surprise in store at the end of every direct. This time, it's a new Kirby game. Kirby Planet Robobot. And the big hook for this one? Kirby's getting a mech. And it can have copy abilities of its own. And it looks awesome. Though it kind of does remind me of the Animal Helpers from Dreamlands 2 and 3. But yeah, the... The robot. It looks awesome. And there's going to be other stuff like new abilities such as... Doctor, ESP, and Poison Kirby. Also, the Smash ability is making a comeback and it's being retooled, so yeah, big points in my book. And they're including a new line of Kirby Amiibos, including Kirby, DDD, Meta Knight, and Waddle Dee! Huh. But they're but they're locking some uh, but they're locking some content behind the Amiibos, including. The UFO ability. Why does it have to be locked behind Amiibos? Uh. But other modes in Robo in Planet Robobot include the uh, Team Kirby Clash, which is basically kind of like a co-op RPG-style battle thing, which looks pretty cool. And in later pl press releases, it's, re it's been revealed that Meta Nightmare Returns is going to be in the g in the game as a mode. We're going to get to play as Meta Knight again. Woo! Meta Knight! <laughs> so yeah, Planet Robobot was pretty much the highlight of the show, uh, highlight of the direct for me. That and Monster Hunter Generations being announced. But for my question of the week, what was your highlight of the Nintendo Direct if you watched it? As always, leave your comments in the uh, I mean, leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorite answer them answers and feature them in next week's episode. Here are last week's winners. And with that, time for the fourth wall mailbag. As always, send me your questions via YouTube messages. I'll pick the ones I think I can answer the best and feature them on next week's episode. First question this week comes from the Fireball Disaster, who asks, Do you like any rhythm games? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. In fact, one of the games I'm enjoying the most right now is actually Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX for my 3DS. It's so addicting for me, I have trouble putting it down! I'm such a weeb. Yeah, but, it, but, but I really enjoy rhythm games, like Theater Rhythm, Final Fantasy, uh, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, uh, Harmonite even, Rhythm Thief. Still want to see a Rhythm Thief sequel. Damn it, Sega. Next question comes from Dragon of Hoenn, who asks, Are there any new type combinations you would like to see in Gen 7? 
I'd like to see more done with the dark type. I would, let's see, uh, I don't think there's an electric dark type yet. Nor is there a dark fairy, obviously. Let's see, uh, what other type combinations I'd like to see, uh, eh, I'm sure I'll think of more off the, I'll th I think, I don't know, I'm sure I'll think of more as we get closer to the launch of, of Sun and Moon. Eh, I might tweet about those. Next question comes from Leonardo Juan, who asks, What is your favorite anime? My favorite, my favorite anime, I would have to say, is Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Yes, the concept is incredibly stupid. I mean, why would you want to play card games on while well, riding motorcycles? That's... The idea is just stupid and uh, dangerous, but... Damn if, it, damn if it isn't entertaining for me, at least. I, I also really like Yusei more than the other Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonists, to be honest. But, yeah, 5Ds is my favorite anime. I know, it's stupid, but I love it. I just, I just wish they'd been able to dub the final arc. In before the argument of subs versus dubs. Last question today comes from Drawboy66, who asks... What are your thoughts on a Fire Emblem fighting game? Well, the idea is interesting. But any super moves would have to have the crit animations. Oh.